hello guys welcome to the inner calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we'll go through few basics of inner calc so inner calc is a software i mean it in, it has calculated sheets in it and it is used for like simple calculations like a design of a beam or a, sim a simply supported beam a continuous beam column footing you can do all these simple designs in inner calc so I'll show you how it looks double click inner calc and you see this window opens up like this and it has a menu bar with file settings databases tools license and help we'll look through the file in this session so basically you have last project the one which you are working previously and you can open recently worked projects also you can select a project you can open a project which is already stored somewhere else like this column and you can create a new project there is a print setup and you have print project then display project assistant so what you basically do is uh, you go to new project you select it and you give it a name let's say simply supported beam we'll go through simply supported beam in this video tutorial and I'll say save now I, ha I have this window which shows me some options like printing the project or particular item what I can do is like I can add a new calculation over here first I need to select this and then you select add so in that so when when I select add it opens up this window which has beams multiple simple beam steel beam composite steel beam and columns walls foundations and other analysis so um, what we'll do is like we'll go to a wood beam in this session so this is basically for wood beam you have to enter the information required like general data design values and stuff and once you're done you just say save and close and your project information gets saved over here so this is when you are working on a project like you have a building and you are designing different kinds of headers or steel beams you just go on uh, adding one after the another and doing the design just in case if you want to just quickly calculate uh, quickly ca find out the reactions on a beam and you don't want that to be in records or you just want the results to know as soon as as fast as possible you just you just go to file and select quick calc and you select your whichever the whichever the case you are working on so in this video I will select a wood beam so I will say simply supported wood beam and as you see the wood portion is already selected as my beam material 
and uh, compression at the lateral pressing fully braced design method over here you can select ASD or LRFD and coming to the design values you need to select this and in this table you can see the NDS 2015, 2012 and 2005 versions so I will usual so I'll go by latest code NDS 2015 and over here I have uh, my different types of wood species basically I mean most of the times we use thin pine it depends on the area so I'll say southern pine uh, number two grade nothing but number two I'll say 12 inch wide I'll select that okay so once you select that all these values gets highlighted and you, let's just first unclick this auto calculate value we can do that auto calculate we can select auto calculate value later in this video tutorial next I will go to beam span data I'll say let, let's make it 10 feet and I'll have minimum minimal minimum allowable deflection ratio so here you don't need to change any of these values these are already selected and depending on the area wherever you st live or you're designing the factors changes and coming to the wooden members over here since I selected southern pine in my general data as you see I selected southern pine in my general data I'll give my southern pine so let's say 2 by 12 is a beam okay and if you want to see a sketch of it you can see it so this is simple drawing you can view it in 3d that is 2 by 12 and once I go to span loads I can add different types of loads so let's say for example I want to add a UDL hmm, 25 PSF PLF I'm sorry and 40 PLF my live load I'll select add load then I'll add a point load kips I'll say add load so as you see you can even add a moment you can add a trapezoidal load um, partial length uniform load so once you are done adding this make sure you select auto add beam weight this also adds the dead load of the beam and we won't be looking at this right now we'll go to load combinations you see all of these load combinations will be run so once again I go back to beam spam data and I select calculate so you see 0 0.436 is my maximum bending stress ratio I'll make sure that I select the auto calculate box I'll explain you why how is that helpful so this value 0 0.436 if it is less than 1 then we are fine with the design of the beam now if you found that this point load is acting at a distance of 5 feet 
so you can see it in a 3D sketch I'll just turn off the bracing so as you see a simply supported beam 2 by 12 with a point load and then also UDL so as soon as like as soon as so if you see I have 0 0.455 so as soon as I change this to let's say 40 0 0.04 PLF and when I say enter it will auto calculate all the required values that is the reason we selected auto calculate box over here I say enter you see our value got increased from 0 0.45 to 0 0.55 and also uh, the deflection looks good since our values were 360 and 180 and both of them are higher even the shear stress ratio is good so we are fine with this design in reality we never use single 2 by 12 there's more of 2 or 3 so uh, this is just this is this was just to show you how to do a wood beam simply supported in NR calc thank you for listening to the video